So armed forces from Ethiopia's Amara region are stepping up killings, mass detentions and expulsions of ethnic Tigrayans in neighboring western Tigray. That's according to Amnesty International and Human Rights Watch. Now for the latest developments in Ethiopia, I'm joined live via Skype by VOA UN correspondent Margaret Bashir. Hello, Margaret. Hi, Vincent. Good to be with you. Thank you. And, and now you've summed up things so well, but want to look at, you know, the fact that actually this conflict in Ethiopia has uh, created a major food crisis also. What more can you tell us about the delivery of food aid to those who are needy? Yeah, it's a terrible situation. The United Nations has been working for months to try and uh, get more aid into northern Ethiopia, particularly into Tigray. There are more than five million people in desperate need there. And, you know, the conflict has spilled over since about June uh, into Amhara and into Afar. And now the numbers are really skyrocketing, particularly in Amhara. I think uh, 3.7 million people are in need of aid there. And uh, it's just, it's not going well. And the United Nations has had problems both with the government of Ethiopia, the federal government, and with uh, the TPLF. Uh, recently, in the last 10 days or so, they've had uh, aid trucks from the World Food Program stolen, taken away by uh, what the UN believes are uh, federal government mm -hmm. forces or groups aligned with them. And uh, they've had their warehouses looted by uh, w what they believe are the TPLF. So it's it's been very difficult. And, 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 and they're not getting nearly enough aid in. Really sad. And uh, there's going to be a discussion in Geneva uh, by the UN Human Rights Commission. Can you tell us a bit more about that? Right. So you may recall in early November, um, there was a commission, a report between the UN Human Rights Commission and the Ethiopian Human Rights Commission. They did a joint report on the situation in uh, Tigray, and they said that there were abuses, uh, human rights violations committed uh, by all parties. And now the uh, European Union in Geneva at the UN Human Rights Council has asked for a special session tomorrow, and it's to discuss uh, the human rights abuses, which are ongoing, the uh, the dual report that the Ethiopians and the UN did ended in June, but the crisis is continuing and the abuses are continuing. So they need to, uh, what they want to do is uh, vote a resolution to uh, mandate a commission that would have uh, a mandate for about a year that could be renewed later, and they would begin to investigate, to report, and to collect evidence, and it would be used later in prosecutions and to hold people accountable for these atrocities. I mean, we've heard about terrible stories of sexual violence and rape throughout this torture, killings. I mean, really heartbreaking uh, stories from people who have escaped and survived. So this is what they want. But interestingly, it is quite a controversial meeting. Uh, the African countries on the Human Rights Council don't want it, and they didn't vote for the meeting. But there are enough members of this 47-member committee to have this meeting on Friday. We definitely are going to be listening to see what comes out of this meeting. Our thanks to VOA UN correspondent Margaret Bashir reporting live via Skype.